an investor buys a share of stock for $80 at the beginning of year 2009. He buys another stock of the share price 100 at the beginning of the next period. Both these stock pay a dividend of $2 per year during their holding period. At the end of second year, the investor sells both the stocks for $110 each. The money weighted rate of return is closest to now the money weighted rate of return is the internal rate of return and it is based on all the cash inflows and outflows. So it is the IRR based on all the cash inflows inflows and outflows. Okay. So the money weighted rate of return is nothing but the IRR that is the internal rate of return which is based on all the cash inflows and outflows. So let us try to find out the various kind of cash flows, cash inflows as well as outflows. So at T is equal to zero, the investor buys a stock for $80 and hence the cash outflow is $80. This is the cash outflow. At T is equal to one, he purchases another stock for rupees $100 but and he receives a dividend of two dollar from the stock which he purchased at the beginning of year 2009 so his net outflow will be dollar 100 minus dollar 2 which is equal to dollar 98 at t is equal to 3 he sells both the stocks for 110 dollars each and also receives dividend of two dollar on both these stocks so at T is equal to 2, his net inflow of cash is equal to 2 into $110. That is cash from the cash proceeds from the sale of the stocks plus $4, which will give me $224. That is the cash inflow. at the end of second year so at the end of uh, so at the start at the beginning of year 2009 he incurs a cash outflow of $80 at t is equal to 1 he incurs a cash outflow of $98 which is equal to $100 which he invested in purchasing the stock price minus $2 that is the dividend which he received from the first stock and at t is equal to 2 the net proceeds or the cash inflow comes from selling both the stocks at $110 a piece plus $4 dividend received from both the stocks it is equal to $224 so my money weighted rate of return is nothing but the IRR based on the cash inflows and the outflow so if I put it in the equation let the money weighted rate of return be R then 80 plus 98 since these are my cash outflows and we are taking the present value of all the cash inflows and outflows it will be equal to 224 divided by 1 plus R square because this 224 inflow is occurring at the end of second year and solving this equation we get R is equal to 16.94%. So in this case, option A is the correct option. That is the money weighted rate of return is 16.94%.